What is going on guys? Patrick here. In today's video, I'm going to be going over all 33 items that I sold on eBay last week. Actually, one on Facebook Marketplace. So 32 eBay, one Facebook. Uh, before we get started, I want to dedicate this video to Toto, my, my, me and my wife's cat. She's had her since she was a kitten. And unfortunately, you guys, Toto passed away from cancer a few days ago. Uh, it's been pretty hard here in the, uh, in the Patrick the Picker household. And uh, so just, uh, you know, keep us in your thoughts, please. Thank you. You've probably seen her in a couple of my videos. She liked to jump up in my lap. So it has been pretty hard without her. She's always trying to be in here with me while I'm filming. And uh, so I'm going to miss her quite a bit. Uh, as mentioned, I did get 33 sales last week. Uh, so it's a lot to get through. I've never had this many sales for you guys. So I'm just going to start going right away. There's item number one. Uh, it is, I'm at the wrong spot on my, sh my cheat sheet here. <laughs> so you guys know that I've been doing, redoing my, this, my eBay room here really quickly. You guys can kind of see what's going on. I've moved some shelves over there. There were some shelves in the corner there that's gone. And then over on this side of the room, you can see there's a dresser there. The box closet has not been touched yet. And in this closet, there's actually now a dresser and I put some stuff up top. I still have to do the stuff behind me here. Like I've got a bunch of things kind of sitting, uh, but uh, th that should be coming right along. I've purchased a few more items to help me with this. So uh, it's good. But with that comes this item here. Um, I'm going through like all of my items that are listed, trying to see, does it make sense to try and, and keep it listed right now? Or should I just try and get rid of it? So I've been discounting some things. I've been sending out more offers than I usually do. And I actually sent, I think it was like five to 10 items up for auction a couple weeks ago, and, or maybe what was it, 10 days ago, something like that, because it ended on, on Sunday night. I do Sunday at 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern time to Sunday 9 p.m. Eastern time the following week. And uh, that's worked pretty well for me over the years. And uh, so that's what I did this time. I just picked up a bunch of stuff, listed it, hoped it did well, started all of them at 99 cents. Like, I don't know why that's just kind of what I've decided to go with over the years and just see how they do. And I honestly thought that I would do okay. And I kind of did bad. <laughs> so this Ninja picture, you can see it sold for a dollar plus shipping. So thankfully there's that. I thought it was worth about $8 when I bought it. Uh, I had bought like a whole box of these at a Goodwill. There was a whole bunch of parts and stuff. So I'm probably in the profit zone. Uh, I had put about a dollar and 36 cents as the cost on this. So not, not good at all, but getting these, these things, these slow moving items out of the house, right? I, I eventually would get to the point where I can move these over to my storage unit. But right now that's kind of in disarray as well as things are coming and going and I'm getting this kind of room straightened out. All right. Item number two, also an auction. This was, a, I had bought this huge box of Skylanders that were brand new from somebody. I think I paid like uh, just about a dollar each for them. I've got this these two listed here at a dollar forty, so I was about seventy cents each. And I thought I could get about six dollars for each of these, or three dollars each for each of these, and I got seven. So it's kind of like right in the ballpark of where I wanted to be. I sold a bunch of them in like the ten to twenty dollar range already, so I did pretty good there. All right, this one I thought was going to be worth a good amount. I bought two of these little coach wristlets. Uh, I think $5 each. And I thought this one was worth about $30, but it sat and sat and sat almost two years. I don't know that I ever got any offers on it. I don't know anything. I don't really remember hearing too much from people about it. Um, yeah, sold for a dollar also, plus shipping. So pretty disappointing. And like I said, I was into it for $5. So upside down there. That's not the worst one though. We'll come back to that. All right, somewhere in the middle here, that I, a bunch of the auctions didn't sell. So the ones that did, some of them took a little longer for people to pay, uh, but so we'll come back to that. But I think you guys saw last week, this was on my pickup video, uh, is Stephen King's Wind Through the Keyhole. It's a Dark Tower novel. So it's like kind of book eight in the series. Kind of takes place in the middle of the series though, which is weird. Um, I thought it was worth more like $15 and I, I ended up taking a best offer of 10 on it plus shipping. So I don't know. I was just interested in, in having some sales. I don't know. It was early in the week. I had all these auctions that had not done well and I was just like, let's sell some stuff. So I took the best offer. I was in, I think I ended up paying around $3 for it after my 20% off at Savers. All right. You guys know the saying, when in doubt, part it out. 
I had bought this coffee maker and all of its parts for $35 at an estate sale. And honestly, I thought this would be the last thing of this to sell. It, it, it wasn't, I've still got, I think the, uh, the little holder for the grounds still hasn't sold. Uh, but yeah, sold for $40. I honestly originally thought I would get maybe like $20. So like to get 40 instead was great. And I was into this, like I said, the whole unit, everything was about $35. I signed about $6 of that to this. So great profit there. All right, back to an auction. I don't think I realized I had free shipping on this. So I think I ended up having, um, I think it sold for like 550, I can't remember. I'm not looking at the images, you guys. All I have here is that I sold it for negative $4.50 because I paid to ship it and I didn't bring in that much money on it to be able to cover shipping costs. So 100% of loss on this one. Uh, good news is I only paid a dollar for it. At the time when I bought it, I thought they were worth more like $10 and just, I guess these just aren't worth a ton anymore and nobody wanted them. I actually had a second one here that went to Goodwill kind of immediately because I'm just not interested in having it sit for ages again. All right, back into the positive side. DuckTales for the PlayStation 3. Uh, this I actually had bought last year. Um, there was maybe, maybe even a little bit farther back than that, but there was this story online that this game was going to become super rare because they weren't offering it digitally anymore. And if you could go find copies, do it. It will it'll may jump up in price into the hundreds of dollars. So I hit up a couple Walmarts, a couple a couple of Targets, and I actually found one. So I ended up paying $13 for this. And at the time, the, the prices were around 18, but it was a buy and hold kind of thing. So I just tossed it into my games bin and just was like, I won't worry about it. Here we are a little, like maybe a year plus later, and the price has not really gone up. I, you see, I sold it for 25. And uh, so that wasn't great profit. The, I, what I found out is that the... Uh, the, the digital store copy became available again, and then that just kind of, all of us who had bought these things just kind of stuck with them. So I was happy to not lose money on this. I did make a little bit. So what are you gonna do? I took a little bit of a chance here. It didn't pay off this time. Maybe it will next time. All right, you guys know that I love to sell Stephen King hardcover books. I, I Of course, I wanna find the rare ones and sell them individually, but I'm not above buying them cheap and selling them in lots. So I had bought a, a good number of these last summer at estate sales and tag sales. Tag sales are garage sales here in Connecticut. And I've just been putting up in, in lots of five for $25. And some of them I've sold in the like $20 range and some of them I've sold 25, but they, they do sell over time. They tend to sit a little bit longer, so a little longer tail, but I was into this for $2.50, right? I paid 50 cents each of these things. Like that's a pretty good flip, right? I don't mind that at all. I've definitely got the, some room for these things because they're not breakable. You can easily stack them up on shelves or put them in bins, whatever you're, you're doing. So great little flip there. All right, next item on the list is, uh, this is this is a, not a very common item. It is, the, the name is Venta Air Washer, the model, I, I don't remember what the model was, uh, but I found these at an, this, the first estate sale of the season, basically, a couple weeks back, and paid $20 for it. Um, it is humidifier and air purifier, so that's why they called it an air washer. Why not, right? <laughs> they were in a basement at the house and they were a little dirty, so I had to put a little time in to get them clean. And I really had no idea how much this was gonna sell for. I knew I'd at least make back my $20. I thought maybe $40 at the low end. And I just said, let's put it up at $80 and see if it sells. And sure enough, within just a few days, actually, it sold for my asking price of 80 bucks. And uh, so it's really great. I'm really happy to sell this for that nice little flip at plus $60. All right. So the, with, with all of these movings around in this room, part of the, one of the things I've been doing is consolidating, right? What do I have in my bins? I need to start getting rid of some of this stuff, trying to make more room. And so I've been doing that. I did that with my transformers. I found a bunch of loose transformers that I, I was like, okay, I'm gonna lot these up. Those are still listed. And then I went through them again, one by one, just to see if any of the prices had changed. And this one seemed like it was worth the selling by itself. So I listed it for 15 plus shipping and I took a best offer of 1250. Um, I, I did not have this in my inventory. I think I paid something like three or $4 for a bag of these. 
and a couple bags of them probably something like that i don't know i couldn't find any records on me actually documenting this when i first bought it i just had bag of transformers at four dollars <laughs> so i just to be on the safe side i put the cost at zero dollars it was probably more like a dollar something like that but a dollar into 12.50 i'm pretty happy with that all right moving right along resellers bread and butter right dvd vhs players vcrs you guys know uh, this one I was into for $8. I thought it was worth $40, and I sold it for $40. Easy flip. Oh, this one was, I, th I think it's a good story. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to consider this a win, because I definitely made a good amount of money on this. But I found this bread maker at Savers, and I know that some bread makers right now are doing pretty well. I looked it up. It looks like the bread maker was selling for $130, and I was like, wow. For like $11, that is a great flip. I'm going to buy this. I don't mind getting into a bigger item if I can make that much money on it. And of course my wife's like, well, let's make bread in it. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I need to test this anyway. Let's see if I can test it. Let's see if it works. So I plugged it in and let it get going and to get warm. And it never did, never got warm. So I was like, okay, I already also had known that the, the pan inside and the paddles would probably sell. So that's exactly what I did, parted it out, Listed these for $70 with free shipping, which it ended up selling within about a week. So $11 into $60 basically after shipping. Pretty good deal there. Wish I could have got the 130, but profit is profit. This is this is a good amount of profit, so I cannot complain here at all. All right, similar story, right? Going through all of the things that have just been sitting, projects, selling them. This thing I probably could have gotten working. It was it was definitely highly corroded on the inside. And I was just like, let's just list it as is and see if it sells. So I listed it for $20. Originally, I thought in the condition it was in, I might be able to get 15. So like I actually did a little bit better than I thought I was gonna do. And I was into this for about $4. I had bought Rob the Robot and a bunch of toys and a bunch of accessories for Rob for the Nintendo Entertainment System, right? That's the original Nintendo. Did great on this deal, right? And I still have Rob in my collection. So that's, that's really cool. All right, this is a commission from my mother-in-law, uh, when we cleaned out uh, grandma's house, we found a bunch of board games and I've just slowly been listing those. And this was in the board game pile, basically. I know it's not a board game, but it was pretty interesting because it had never been used. The box was only in okay condition, but all the parts inside the box were basically brand new. And that's pretty interesting for something that's essentially 50 years old. Uh, it, was, it was pretty neat. It was a little disgusting, I'll be honest, right? The visible man, I don't want to be thinking about what's inside of me. <laughs> Uh, but for commission, it's a uh, 40% to my mother-in-law, 40% to me, and then 20% set aside for supplies and fees. So it's going to be $10 to me and $10 to my mother-in-law. Thanks, Minnie. <laughs> All right, coming up on this one, this was this. These things go up and down in price. Uh, Skylanders, you guys probably know as resellers, a few years ago they were gold. You could sell them for a ton of money. And now they then they had cooled off for a while and they've kind of come back a little bit. They're, they're definitely getting some money, especially in lots, right? If you can get 10, 20, 30 of them, they're gonna sell for 10 to $20 probably. And there's still a few out there that have some value. I actually sold this guy like two or three times last year after, after I had found him for like $7 plus shipping. I even had a record where it was $8. For whatever reason, this time he just didn't sell. So I finally got an offer for a little bit below my asking price. I put in about $5 is what I sold them for plus shipping and I was into them for $1.30. So, right, let's just get it out of the house and move on. <laughs> All right, thank you, Matt. Shout out to you, buddy. Uh, he brought over a few, t a few toys. I think it was about five different things a few weeks back. This was in that bag of stuff he gave me. Uh, I thought it was worth about 15 and I ended up selling it for 13. So I'm very happy with that. And he didn't want any money for it. So thanks, Matt. <laughs> all right two books stephen king hardcovers again i got these last weekend at a combination of savers and goodwill i got one at each store and i was into it for i think one of them was it was four dollars before my 20 percent off and the other one was a dollar so it was basically four dollars i think a little bit more than four dollars for these and i sold them for twenty dollars with free shipping uh, mini mail ended up running me about four dollars so I'm gonna sell them in the, for $16, right? So even after pro, even after the cost of goods sold, uh, be about $12 and then a little bit less for fees, right? So I'll, I'll probably make about $10 off of these, but super easy, quick, quickly sold. I, I keep, I'll probably keep buying these things. 
All right, second of these that I've ever sold, baseball bat. This I've never really found any that I w were worth picking up and were selling. I found a couple of these, I don't know, a couple months ago at Goodwill for five bucks each. Uh, I thought this was worth about $15, and I just was like, I was interested in trying to see how long they would sell, how easy it would be to ship, that kind of thing. And it sold within a couple months for $20. I think it ended up going to Hawaii, so pretty interesting right there. Uh, and I, like I said, I thought it was worth 15 so I actually made more than I thought I was going to make. So nice little flip there. I'm going to continue to try and expand my knowledge in this market. All right. This is Amber's Weird Sale of the Week. Uh, I picked these up at a Savers, I don't know, probably a month or two ago. It was in like a cashew jar. <laughs> and I just really enjoy buying these big containers filled with the stuff. Right? You never know what are going to be in there. Uh, they were, I don't remember, it, Moose, right? The same people who make... Uh, a Shopkins and a bunch of other toys like that. They make all sorts of different toys. So I was like, all right, there's a lot of these. It's a brand that I recognize. I'm just going to buy them. They were $4. And I thought it was going to be more like a 10 to $20 range, make 15 to 20. Didn't, didn't end up being that way. I ended up getting $10 with them. So not too bad. Not, not the best flip in the world, but definitely weird. <laughs> all right. Uh, we're going to the 80s for this one, you guys. This is a, a He-Man and the Masters of the Universe toy. For, uh, it's one of his vehicles, right? It's a robotic horse called Strider. I picked this up, I don't even know when, uh, probably last fall at a, at a Savers, I think. And I paid $3 for it. I really want these things to be worth like $15, $20, but it was kind of neat to have in the house. I thought when I, when I first valued it, when I got home, it was worth about 10. It sat and sat and sat and sat, and I finally sold it for $5.50. So I would not advise selling this thing by itself. Probably if you had some He-Man stuff, you could sell it in a bundle though. So that may work pretty well. Bad news is I've got one more of these things still in my inventory. That may go back to savers. We'll see how desperate I get for things to list here at some point. All right. This was in one of my uh, how-to videos, actually. I did sourcing out of my own stuff. And I went through all of my board games and just picked out some things that I was like, I'm never going to play this. This is not something I'm interested in. I had gotten this as part of a uh, Kickstarter, actually, and I was I was overcome by the FOMO, right? I didn't want to miss out on getting something, and then I didn't actually end up liking the base game very much. Maybe once my son is born and he's like four, five, six years old, we'll start playing this game, but that's a long time from now, you guys. So if I'm interested in at that point, I'll just buy this expansion again. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's a huge market out there for them, so they'll probably still be around by that point. Uh, no idea what I paid for these as part of the Kickstarter, uh, but it sold for $10. And when I made my video, I thought it would be worth maybe $20 with free shipping, something like that. So I was right in the ballpark. All right. Part of the cleaning out, I, I went through all of the video game cases. I try to keep like at least one per system in case I find a disc that needs a case or a case with, with everything complete, but the disc, the, the, the case is destroyed. I can just replace it. And sometimes you get, or you, sometimes you'll get discs that are just beat up, and I'll end up send, selling those if they're worth money uh, by themselves. Um, and I'll keep the case in, in case I get a system and the disc is inside, then I can part, put it together with the case. Again, trying to just clear out all of this kind of extra inventory that I just don't need right now. So I listed this, and sure enough, within like I think it was within a day of me listing it, it sold for my asking price of twenty dollars. Right, so I don't know what I was into this for. I know I got at least one of these free last year when I when I found it in a bin of DVDs and there was no disc inside. They were like, you can just have it. So I've listed it as zero dollar cost, which <laughs> always like that. <laughs> All right, I think I actually got this next thing. These Lego friends uh, from the same day that I got those eraser, the Gomu things, uh, and I think it was about five dollars. Let's see here. Yeah, it was it was four ninety nine. And I, sure enough, when I bought it, I thought it was going to be worth about $25, which is ex almost exactly what I sold it for. I sold it for $26. I did list this pretty high at $50 just to see if I could get any takers at that, that high price. Didn't happen. So I finally lowered it down to about $30, and then I took a best offer, of twenty, which ended up being $26. So happy about that, $5 into, into $25, basically. All right, another reseller's bread and butter item, right? Guitar Hero. I do have a few of the dongles for the PlayStation 3 so that I can actually test these. 
and that that seems to make a big difference. Uh, this one sat for a little longer than I would have liked, probably like three or four weeks. Um, but what are you going to do? It wasn't too bad. Uh, an, an easy ship. I think it went overseas. So I got my full asking price. I was into this for $4. So like I said, this is a reseller's bread and butter thing. All right. Next one is another commission. This one's for my friend Heather. Uh, right. Her dad moved and uh, we've been going through all the items that he had in his storage unit. And I've just been trying to just sell as much of it as I can. I've donated a good amount too when it was when it was approaching zero, I guess, for value. And this I thought I could sell for seven dollars, and I ended up getting about six for it. So not great, right? Only going to be about two dollars and forty cents going to, to Heather for this one. But hey, a little bit is better than nothing, especially when we were getting these out of storage and there was no cost for it at, for her. So, all right, um, same idea. Going through my old old inventory, this is a Game Boy Advance lot. I, I think I priced it at like twenty dollars, and I somebody offered me seventeen, which I was like, that's a fair offer. Basically saying they wanted free shipping. That's that's fine. I was happy to get rid of this thing, since this is all like my bonus inventory. I have no cost on this thing, and I actually had these all listed as having zero dollars in value, which is a little weird. I think they probably each had at least a dollar in value, so probably like I don't know seven dollars, and I instead I sold it for seventeen. So not too bad. All right, same exact thing. I've got several of these things. I still have a couple that I haven't listed, but old Nintendo games that didn't necessarily have any value by themselves. Uh, so I put a bundle of 10 together. I thought this was worth about $31. I probably would have taken an offer in that range. Uh, but I listed it for 50 just to see if I could get it. And it took a couple weeks, but I ended up getting an offer of 40, which I took. So happy to get it there. I was into this for about $12. All right, you guys, it's time for the sale of the week. This is that slide projector. I picked up at Goodwill. I ended up paying about $25 for it. I priced it at $100. After about 24 hours up, I'd gotten a bunch of offers in the $70 to $80 range, and I got one that was $90, and I was like, you know what? I just, I just want to sell this. <laughs> so sold it for $90, and I was into it for that $25. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to make about $65 in profit, right? Something like that. And uh, right, that's, be, that's before fees, but I did get shipping included in the, the so it's $90 plus shipping. So it's like, that's all the money we're going to come in. So pretty cool there. All right. This is another Heather item, actually. Um, it was for sale for a couple weeks. I had it priced at $130, I think. And I think I actually had priced it too high. I thought that it was the, that it was a specific version of it, and it turned out it was a different version. So it was actually worth, in my mind, more like a hundred dollars. Um, and I just was getting a bunch of offers that were like fifty, and finally I got an offer that was seventy-five dollars, and I was just like, you know what? Let's get this. They're basically asking me um, for free shipping, which is about what it cost. It was about twenty-five dollars to ship, and so same um, same kind of idea here. It's going to be thirty dollars to me, thirty dollars to Heather there. So pretty good, a little bit more work than I'd like for $30, but happy to help Heather out. All right, we're getting close to the end. We're getting close. Uh, I picked up a couple puzzles and a couple like activity books in the fall. Uh, didn't list them until like midwinter. Just I don't. I just liked having some of this stuff. I liked buying it. Uh, so I think I paid $3.99 for, for two things. And so it was two bucks for this one and I sold it for $8, shipped flat. So pretty easy flip right there. This sold for exactly what I thought it was worth. So $8, easy, easy little like smalls kind of thing, right? Easy, easy one right there. Last spring during the lockdown, I started doing some online auctions, right? Where you local pickup and I had bought a whole bunch of stuff from this one place, including like a Bose stereo. And inside the box, there was this converter, which I did not want, but I was like, it's coming with it. What are you going to do? And so I looked it up and it looked like they were selling anywhere from like $10 to $25. So I went high, you guys. I listed at $25 and it sat and sat and sat. And then strangely enough, just kind of out of the blue, it sold for $20. Like, what are you going to do? Uh, since it was those online auctions, I don't know what it's like in your area, but ours here in Connecticut, they go sky high. They're basically selling for no margin for profit on eBay. So it, I ended up cost this thing ended up cost me twelve dollars and I sold it for twenty, 
right? There's just almost no room for profit on these things. So I don't, I'm probably gonna stay away from those online auctions with local pickup that just have not been profitable enough for me to be able to make any money. I'm hoping that my friend Anthony, uh, he's got a, an auction house up in Massachusetts. I'm hoping that he'll have an auction at some point. He seemed to have some pretty good stuff. I think it's not your average auction, if I remember correctly. Anthony, I'm sorry if I butchered that. <laughs> All right, uh, Game Genie, I sold another one of these things, right? Right out of my box of junk, basically. Uh, put it up as untested, put it for $15 plus shipping, and it sold within a couple weeks. I was into this for a dollar, so pretty cool there. All right, this is the second lot of these that I've sold. The first one had the full set of four that I, I think I sold that one for $10. And then this one, I was like, originally I thought they were worth $3 each, so I just priced it at nine. And within about a week of me listing it, it sold. This is for my mother-in-law, uh, same, same as the other thing I'd sold for her. So it's gonna be about $3.60 to her and $3.60 to me, so not too bad. And then the last thing that I sold this week, uh, this is another Heather, Heather item. Uh, she had a bunch of stuff in the storage unit. So I think this one was actually hers, uh, but, uh, Samsung television, it was actually a really nice little TV, 40 inches, um, crystal clear picture on it actually. And I had no idea how to value this thing. I didn't want to sell it on eBay, I wanted to sell it locally. I looked at some of the similar TVs that, it, that were selling and they were in like that $50 range. So I was like, I'll just list it at 50 and see how it does. I was bombarded with, with offers, mostly just like, I want to buy it at this price. So I think I priced it maybe on a little bit on the low side, but I'm not too unhappy with it because I was still getting offers in like the $30, $40 range. I even got a couple offers of $20. So you know they, uh, they're they trying to flip these things. <laughs> they're trying to buy low on Facebook Marketplace and sell it themselves. I, I can't fault them, that, that's perfectly fine, right? So for $50, it was cash. So this time she's gonna get $25, I'm gonna get $25 as well. So that is it for this week, you guys. Uh, total money in sales, $827.50. It is 100% the best sales week we've had in 2021. So very happy that that happened. Um, original value, $845. So I'm like still feeling really good about my valuation versus actual, like actual value strategy. I'm usually like a little bit over, a little bit under, not too bad, usually like five to 10% off either way. And then cost of goods sold, right? There was a good amount of uh, consignment stuff. There we go, I lost the word. Uh, but even still, I was into some of these things for more than I'd like to be, uh, some of the items. So cost of goods sold was $220. All right, let's go up and run through the list here. With, with all of that stuff, all the all the work I put in last week, I didn't actually do a ton of eBay last week. Like I said, I didn't I didn't get a chance to really do a lot of sourcing, uh, so I ended up only spending about eight and a half hours doing eBay, and a lot of that was on Sunday night doing shipping because I ended, I think we ended up spending over an hour doing shipping Sunday night with all of the items that sold over the weekend. Uh, cost of goods sold though, even removed and all of the fees, it looks like it's going to be about. Uh, let's see where are the fees about $128 in fees out of that 800 just over $800 and with the eight and a half hours that I spent it's gonna net me about $56 an hour so like holy cow you guys that is pretty high definitely a lot higher than I'm used to seeing usually it's more like $30 so like way above that just feel like I knocked it out of the park last week this makes me feel like hey I should maybe like step up my game and become and do this full time but definitely not there now, especially now with uh, the baby on the way. Uh, this is gonna keep me dreaming, trying to hit that goal at some point in the future. Hopefully you guys will be along for the ride with me. All right, so that is gonna end the video this week, you guys. If you've enjoyed this content, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more content like this, please do subscribe to my channel. Should be back on Saturday with some more live thrifting. Uh, once again, my name is Patrick, and thank you very much.